What is up, pilots, student pilots, people here to learn? My name is Nick from Part Time Pilot, and today's video is going to be on components of Lyft. Now, I've made some videos on Lyft already, and I want to go back and kind of describe the components of Lyft, the details, the fundamentals of that, and actually how that leads to an aircraft turning. So, if you ask the question, how does an aircraft turn, which is kind of on the FAA written, I believe, this is how you answer that question. So a force is a vector quantity, which means it contains both a magnitude and a direction in three-dimensional space. For example, the force of wind gusts can be from 220 at 20 knots. Okay, so it's got a direction and a magnitude. And then that wind can also not just be applied horizontal to your aircraft, it can actually come up a three-dimensional angle, right? It can, it can come up from below you, come up from above you, that is an example of a, a vector quantity. And each vector is made of three components. So you have the X coordinate component, which is like your left and right, if you're, if you're just standing and making your own coordinate system. Then you have the Y coordinate component, which is up and down. So you're to your toes and, and above you. And then a Z coordinate component, which is into frame and out of frame. So if you were to walk forward and then backwards. And then as you can see here, we got the XYZ coordinate system. And therefore, lift is a vector quantity. Uh, it is a force, so it's a vector quantity. And so it has both magnitude and direction in each of the three coordinate directions, X, Y, and Z. In straight and level flight, the X and Z components of lift are zero, and lift is applied directly upwards in the Y coordinate direction. So we know that in straight and level flight, lift is completely vertical, and it opposes gravity or weight, right? And so you want more lift than weight, and that's how you fly. In a banking turn, the lift vector changes direction. Okay, so we have our aircraft banked here, and our lift, now our total lift, changes direction. It's now at an angle. So now it consists of both a vertical component and a horizontal component. The horizontal component is actually what pushes the aircraft in the direction of the banking turn. So when you're asked what makes an aircraft turn, it's the horizontal component of lift caused by the change in direction of the total lift vector. If you got any questions, please comment below. Thanks for watching, and as always, please subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at part period time period pilot. And if you haven't gotten it yet, I have a free study guide of almost 200 flashcard type slides that help you for your checkride or FAA private pilot written test. Just go to my website, parttimepilot.com, click on the menu, go to free study guide, enter your email, and I will send you a download link for that completely free. And it's super useful, I promise. Thanks guys.